Sunday afternoon and the hood is rather peaceful and now heading out on our afternoon delight but just that fast something occurs a full stop is surely the day Let's have a look here. You're facing the wrong way, idiot. Well, skid marks, he must have swerved or something, or lost control. He's back to breathing a sigh of relief. Okay, take two. Back to our afternoon delight. Hopefully it'll be a delight. So let's head north of the border. Let's see if anything is delightful up here. Not the traffic, that's for sure. We'll get off here. Look for some delight. I think I know where to look. Like right here, New Freedom. Although we were here last week. A bit earlier now, let's see if the train's running. Northern Central. No, no train parked there, so it could be running. Again, the station. And the New Freedom Museum is open. The New Freedom Northern Central Museum. We'll head north towards Glen Rock and Hanover Junction and see if a train pops up somewhere. Again, there is the line. Now using a route that more or less parallels the line. Not coming into a place called Railroad. Wonder how it got the name. Maybe because of that? I don't know. And this road takes us straight to this place as I mentioned. Glen Rock and Hanover Junction. They're about to pass beneath the central. I've had many a bike ride over that bridge on the trail. Gotta get back to it again. Whoa. One lane thing here. You come first. You're bigger. I'm going first? That's different. Normally the big guy goes first. I can't believe I just got some courtesy just now. Wow. Yep, courtesy. Caught on SD chip. And they're about to pass beneath the central. There it is up there. Yep, and many a bike ride on that. We're now arriving in Glen Rock. With road work going on. And again, about to cross the central. And no sign of a train yet. I want to ride my bike. Right to cross the track again. But the road's closed. I gotta find myself a detour. I think I know how to get around this. Hold on. First U turn. And cross back over the tracks. And head east for a bit. Just came out of the right there. I guess I followed the sign, which I didn't see the first time. 
up here turning left to keep on the detour. But this road, I know, and that way many times going to bike rides. And one more turn. Just as I thought. Over there, the sign said Green Acres. Is this the place to be? A lot of rolling farmland out here. And again, the central. I see right over in a place called La Rue. So far, no train. Unless my detour took me out of the way of it. A rough crossing back there. Okay, turn right, continue north. There's somebody blocking the road. Let's move. Somebody stuck here, nobody in there. I'll wait a couple seconds to see what happens. Awesome. I finally got around them back there. I heard they blocked the road, posted at 50 miles an hour. When the road's posted at that speed, you don't want to block it. But anyway, arriving in Hanover Junction. At one time there was a junction here. Abe Lincoln passed here. But no train. Unless of course I passed it during my detour. I'll set for an afternoon delight. And arriving in a place called Seven Valleys. As promised. Yep, your fall keeps his promises. And again, the, the central up there, you guessed it. And again, yes, I'm only a bike ride on it, even at this point. Hang a left. And the place seems well kept up. At least here there's less trash in the gutter than in my neighborhood. The rice barns there kept up. goes that way. We're going this way back to the central again. But there were puddles in the road. I guess to the, the big rain we had a couple of weeks ago. We have like five, six days of rain. It all didn't dry yet. The central's up here somewhere. And there it is. Former station right there. Maybe Glad Filter Station. And the crossing. But of course, there'll be no trains here. They don't come this far north. And again, how many a bike ride along there? Which I keep saying over and over. So I hope you're all enjoying this afternoon delight so far. More to come. Lots of farmland out here to be had. When stuff's kept up, it looks rather well. Most of which is kept up out here. Most of which. But up 
Copy, I'll take a chance and head west. That's got Seven Valleys Road. Just keep Seven Valleys. So I guess I'll temporarily head back towards Seven Valleys. Let's all find a turn that goes west. Actually, my first time this way. I've been to Seven Valleys a lot, but my first time ever this road. And now southwest on whatever road this is, going away from Seven Valleys. But some place here, the connecting track once passed from Hanover Junction to the Western Maryland, and I believe here from left to right. I believe the crossing would have been back there, but I got pulled up in the 1940s. That's why the place is called Hanover Junction, because it was a junction at one time. And now entering Jefferson, but that connecting track would have passed through. But I'm not sure there was ever a station here. I know how to find out. Well, up here, the center of town, a circle. Oh, and it's on mine. I'll come here for a bit where the track would have crossed and see if anything appears to be station like. I gather top of the hill. The track would have crossed up here someplace. Maybe bottom of the hill? Hard to tell though. They got pulled up way back when. I believe across here. There might even be a station right there. A former station. Yep, here's our line. They're gonna cut across here somehow. That was it. Just pulled a U-turn. That peg went across the former crossing again. Right here, from left to right, heading west. Long gone. And back in downtown Jefferson. We'll bear right to continue right. Whatever. That away. Back on course. And back into the spaces. Rather hot day out there. 95 degrees and very humid. Here Peter Curves lookout. We're now about to cross the Western Maryland line. That's their Hanover division there. I think it was out here last year exploring that line in this area. Now passing through Cadores State Park. It's a nice size park. It offers boating and picnicking. Other stuff as well. Some of the lake there. Cadoras Lake, whatever it's called. Now departing Cadoras. Our next hot spot will be Hanover. Now arriving there. I'm not coming into downtown Hanover. The sign says name for a town in Germany. Hanover, Germany, I guess. And of course, Hanover is the home of Hutz potato chips. Or do you prefer hers? Theirs or hers? 
And now we're at the town square, so to speak. I've taken no doubt it's east up this road before, Route 94. Baltimore is that way. Someplace else is that way to the north. I believe I brought you this way last year, up that road. And now west on this route. And a couple of crossings up here. I believe the first to be the Western Maryland line, now CSX. I believe further up there's a cotton rail line, but I could be wrong. There is a cotton rail line, but now of course Norfolk Southern. Well, it doesn't cross the road. It runs behind these houses. And now passing through McSherry's town, which is kind of attached to Hanover so to speak. But again, they're keeping the place up. As I said, less trash in these gutters than our gutter back in the neighborhood. Or the hood, whatever. And I'm passing through Brush Town. That's what it's called. And again, back into the spaces. And now, once again, entering Gettysburg. But now getting mixed up with all the tourist traffic. They're cut across. Lucky I'm a patient bullfrog. And you guys, too. For this, I could have gone down the ocean. Well, that's next month. Another cool circle here. US 30 West. I get brought this way before, so we're not going to stay on this road. There are a couple of train stations here, but I showed them to you in previous videos, so I'll bypass them for now. Turns out I've been using part of 30 West for a while. No came this way during our last Odyssey, though. But we picked up 30 in McConnellsburg during our last Odyssey, as you'll recall. But I'll find a southbound route someplace. And I'm passing the battlefields on both sides. And the monument there to a horse soldier. Whoa. You have all kinds of tourist stuff going on up here. Gotta watch traffic. In the distance, Catoctin Mountain. Also, another Western Maryland Railway line, now CSX. Get Gettysburg to Hagerstown, that direction. Up here, up here left, I keep the original US 30, that road over there. That road came later in the 1930s, but this is the original route over here. Original Lincoln Highway. And I'm passing through McKnightstown, formerly called New Salem. But there is a New Salem someplace else in Pennsylvania. Maybe that's how come this place got changed. If not that, I don't know. Now passing through historic Cash Town. I 
signs up there. The historic Cash Town Inn. Up there at the very end. I now stop by the Cash Town Inn. As you can see, found in 1797. They're getting its lawn mode. But oddly enough, the place is reputed to be haunted. That History Channel show on this about 10 years ago that showed a ghost in one of those upper two windows up there. I think the second from the right, the room is haunted or something. I wish they repeat that show so I can see it again. But allegedly haunted. I want to stay here and see a ghost. Yeah, I want to stay here and see a ghost. I don't get to have fun anymore. I don't get to see ghosts anymore. What's up? More history for you. There's how the place used to look once upon a time. Very historic place back there, but I want to see a ghost. And now on a road heading south out of Cashtown. Not sure if I've been this way before, but again, one way to find out. I might have passed you before, but can't remember. I've been on so many roads, I can't recall which ones I've been on. In the past, say, most of Maryland line, we saw crossing US 30. Hagerstown's that way. A few miles. And there again, part of Catoctin Mountain. And there it is again. But still can't recall if I passed you before. But every now and then, you do get a cool mountain view. Not a bad road though. Whether I've been this way or not. The sign said roadway flooded. Where? Anyway, don't drink Fairfield. And back on 116, the road that I lost back at Gettysburg. More Fairfield stuff. And downtown Fairfield. I don't think Fairfield is big enough to have a downtown. Guess I was wrong. But up ahead, we depart. Advertise here. Look how I'll advertise there. Watch Bullfrog's YouTube videos. There's my ad. Now, this road I have been on before, but going the other way, northbound. Yep, been on so many roads. I can't remember all the ones I've been on. the road that we used in our last day odyssey going to shanksville we went west that day i gotta go back east now 
and some hot spots, even Baltimore. I'll take the old road for the first time. First time I've seen this part of the old 16. But up there it becomes private and fades away. It's back to the current route. And back to the modern day route that I showed you on my last day, Odyssey. But go another way, of course. Well, here's how it looks this direction. And I cross it back into Maryland. We're back in our state. But still got miles to go, though. Now entering Emmitsburg, just as we did in our last Odyssey. But as I said, going the other way. Emmitsburg, Maryland, founded 1785. At the light is original US 15, but long bypassed out of town. Throw it at one time, ran straight through there. But the modern day 15 interchange bypassed it this way. And of course, Northland 15 goes back to Gettysburg. back up with the original route. Don't know if I see the road from this direction. That's some place up ahead. The farm where I used to go deer hunting. But I passed it already back there. In this direction, I couldn't tell where I was. Once again, entering Tawny Town, of a Civil War town. Route 194. If I turn left, I'll go back to Gettysburg again. And here crossing the Maryland Midland Railway, a former Penn line. I've ridden before to this point. But they don't have pasture excursions this far north anymore. At the circle, the modern route bears that way to the left. The old road bears straight ahead. I'll keep on the old road for a bit. Although it took you over to my last Odyssey. Once again, passing through Mayberry, but I don't think I'll make a joke out of it this time. There, I did anyway. But up here, turning south. See where this takes us. Here's where it goes, a place called Uniontown. Gotta turn again, back at you. And this portion of the road is labeled as a scenic byway, so I guess we'll find out. Some scenery here, okay. As the expression goes, it's either my way or the byway. Or my way is both, actually. I'm not about to pick up that road towards that place. We're now arriving at that place. 
We'll stop for a fast look at the train station. That red building on the right there. Do we qualify for that? Parking by a railroad that no longer exists, or exists by a different name? This line is now operated by the Maryland Midland Railway, which you passed earlier. Trains ran here until 1957. Passenger trains, that is. The freights still run. That's the freight station. And this way, the passenger station. That's some stuff parked along here. Apparently, just for show. But you can't speed through here. Just 10 miles an hour. And again, the stations, both of them. But, better hit the road. She's getting bored. heading on out. Gotta get back in the car. I was getting bitten by mosquitoes back there. Lots of skeeters back there. And again, back into the spaces. And now it's almost 6.25 p.m. So I guess this is now an evening delight. Interesting old stuff along here too. Some big old houses here in this place. past Molasses Road. Molasses? Okay. But again, most of us being kept up. And more farm stuff. Interesting scene there. Up ahead we approach East West Liberty Road. I'm not going back quite yet. We'll stay here a bit longer. As far as I-70 anyway. So here it is, our evening delight. How delightful. And our next hot spot, even if it only barely so, New Market. But before hitting the freeway, Gotta make a stop here at the Food Frog. Good old Food Frog. When I see food, I eat it. Okay, did my shopping. Time to depart the Food Frog. Thanks for bearing with us during our shopping trip there. And now to pick up the freeway. I go back east. Yep, hit the freeway. And we just did. A 
almost 7.30 p.m. So I guess I'll head back to the city. And up here, the Howard County Fair is in progress. Updates on. I'll bring you one soon again. Head back in the Baltimore area. Nope, not gonna see New York. But for some reason, this road's always busy this time of night on a Sunday. About 20 more miles to go for us. And sunsets in the mirror. Yep, that time again. And about 17 miles later, here's our exit. Took another three miles to the hood. And again, back in suburbia. And all that comes with it. And back in Herbia. And all that comes with it. And back in the hood. About 8.20 p.m. And 202 miles later. A nice afternoon and evening delight. I couldn't park there. I wasn't left enough space to back in and out of. An out of state car back there. Park crooked on the property line. But on Sundays, to be expected here in the hood. Once again, hope you enjoyed this delight. Thank you for riding along. And for the privilege of your time, one more time. I'll see you again.